from Bush Stadium in St. Louis, Missouri. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. First pitch moments away and getting the start. Adam Wainwright. Been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. Here's Mookie Betts. Leading off tonight for the Dodgers, the right field, Mookie Betts. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. And a pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind of the pitch. I can't lose, fool. Battling here as he fouls it away. Oh, great grab on the dive. The throw, and they get the out. Great cat-like reflexes right there. Lays out, knocks the ball down, and then fires with that rocket arm all the way across the diamond. Man, put this guy on the mound. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's on the verge of a milestone. His next home run will be the 300th of his career. In the dirt, Contreras gets it to first. Quick start here this evening. Two out, top of the first. The catcher. Will Two outs, base is empty. Smith. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. The flip to the pitcher covering, and they get the out on Smith. And that'll do it. Dodgers down in order. And now the Cardinals get their first shot at it here. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at the ballpark. And today's starter, Julio Urias. Well, Boog, maybe a little pedestrian there in terms of the ERA, but with those numbers, you expect to be in a ball game and have an opportunity to win. And really, that's all his teammates can ask for. So we'll see if he's able to be consistent in this one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now up for St. Louis, Lars Nootbaar. Well, Next pitch is outside. And he lays down a bunt. Not in time. He's safe. That's a fun way for them to start the game on offense. And thanks to a little small ball, they produce a base runner right away. And we'll see if this is part of the game plan for him today or if they just took advantage of an early opportunity. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. They say he went. Here's a 2-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Runner at first with no outs here. Liner, base hit. Newt Bar around second, headed for third. Newt Bar coming home. Vargas with a relay home, safe at the play. And it's 1-0. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras.
Three and two now. And he walked oh. him. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess that he saw good. it really well. That's it's a really nice good. plate appearance. No, no. Here's Nolan Arenado. Oh, no. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. One, one. Liner caught it second. Throw oh. behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. That is good. The right fielder. Tommy Edmund. And here comes Tommy Edmond. The switch hitter batting right. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. The pitch. That one ripped. That's back. And it's gone! His seventh home run of the season. And they add to the lead. It's 3-0. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Here's Nolan Gorman. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's one and two. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. In the dirt. Gets to it on to first. That completes the strikeout inning over. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. New inning getting started. And now it's going to be Max Muncy. Hard hit to third. Gorman throws on to first. One out in the second. And here is J.D. Martinez. One down, base is empty. That's Pitch misses, two and one. Singy, here's an Adam Wainwright nugget. He's faced every team in the majors except the St. Louis Cardinals. On the ground. Can't field it cleanly, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball Miguel. on the ground, kill some worms Vargas. while you're at it. So up next, Miguel Vargas. <laughs> Lifted in the air, right center field. Newt Barr on the move. He's got it. And that is out number three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Cardinals three and the Dodgers nothing. Back in St. Louis as the Cardinals come up to hit here in the last of the second. Bottom half of inning number two. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Paul DeYoung. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. Got him out on the front Batting foot. In. Couldn't Don't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. Stepping in, Brendan Donovan. Oh, Just right missed. That misses, and that's ball three. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, Boog, he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a guy is just commanding those parts of the strike zone, and essentially the guy's earned it, the umpire rolls with him.
Here comes a pitch. Now he breaks his bat. But that's a foul ball. And a payoff pitch. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Anything but pretty right there, Bad but he'll take it every time. Flared it out there and got it to drop for the base oh, hit. I think he got it off the handle just a little bit, but the bat held up for him enough to get something behind that swing. Squirts away a little bit. Well done behind the dish. Three-one is on the way. Three-one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's the center fielder, Lars Nootbaar. First time up, he reached on a bunt single. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss, down on strikes, and two away now. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. That one misses. Now two balls and a strike. Donovan over at second. Coley at first, two out of the inning. Next pitch has popped up. Smith gets under it. Brings it in for the third out. So the cards strand a couple, but they lead it 3 0. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. Chris Adam Wainwright for all the accolades, multiple All-Star games, multiple gold gloves. He may have the title as one of the best pitchers to never win a Cy Young award. Then, of course, there's that curveball. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. The pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Newt Barr moves under it. And yeah, there's two away. Batting nine, the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Two down, nobody on. Ball and that one missing low. Righty to the plate. In the air, left side. Donovan settles under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Dodgers go down quietly. They trail in this one, 3 0. Back here in St. Louis, and now the catcher comes up to hit. Wilson Contreras. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Nice grab. Fires to first. Nicely done for the out. That was an impressive diving stop. Singy, let's dive into the numbers. Statcast the simple. Yeah, Boog, a really good effort just to get his glove to the ball. He found a way to do it and just produce a strong throw as well. So that right there is a great play all the way around. Just really smooth. Here's Nolan Arenado. Foul ball. The one, two. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit.
Everything came together for him. Breaking ball down and in. He did a nice oh, job of just ball. catching out in front. I like that he field. didn't spin off the ball by opening up that front hip too early. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Next pitch has popped up. And a base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Now batting. Third base. So first and second with one man gone. Nolan Gorman oh, next up for the Cardinals. He's 0 for 1. On the ground, two ball. To second, that's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. So it's no runs on two base hits. No errors and one man left. Three innings complete. It's the Cardinals three and the Dodgers nothing. Back here in St. Louis, out of the fourth, and now Mookie Betts. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Next pitch is outside. We'll see another payoff pitch. Right hander kicks deals. Betts started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, did not go. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. He's over one. So now one and two. One Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is. And it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. The punch out there, and one gone. The batter now will be Will Smith. Grounded out his first time up. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. The one-two. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. And the righty deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. Here's a one two and there's a fly ball deep right field Edmund going back back some more pulls it in on the warning track man I love that route the ball was smoked he knew he had to get back to the track right away turned his back on the infield got to the spot turned around and made a nice catch Max Muncie at the dish first time up he grounded a third. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Nothing but curveball so far in the at-bat. Kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if he'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed you up. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. down looking 
One left for L.A. They trail it here, 3-0. Bottom of the inning, now up for St. Louis, Paul DeYoung. The shortstop, Paul DeYoung. The 2-1. That's ball three. You know, these Cardinals showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. The throw to first, and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff, man. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Now the left fielder, Brendan Donovan. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. one now Ball. upstairs it really Ball. feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called this rain is not letting up yeah and if we do get a delay the unfortunate thing is the yeah. clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early and the pitch into center Tracks it down for the out. Two down. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very six. positive sign for him and for his team. Right. Now it's the second baseman, Frank Coley. Looking for his first big league hit right here. Here's a 1-1. And downstairs. The 2-2 two -two on the way. And now the count filled up three and two. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Gets a piece and stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Swing and a ball popped up. Vargas under this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Nothing doing for the offense that time. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Cardinals three and the Dodgers nothing. We go to the top of the fifth. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. J.D. Martinez is the first guy that I remember seeing videotaping his own batting practice so that he could go back inside and look at the video. Next pitch is outside. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. 
Fouls one away and now three and two. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Just kept it simple. Played the Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Digging in, Miguel Vargas swings through that. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Kicks and fires. Got him swinging. Snuck the fastball by him. So digging in, James Outman. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Left hand batter waits. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. To the right side. Over to DeYoung. Over to first seat. The batter, the left fielder, David Peralta. David Peralta at the plate. Outman leads off first with two down to the inning. On the ground, right side. Oh, he gloves it over to first. It's there, oh. and that's a great play. So the Dodgers leave one, still down 3 0. Back here at Bush Stadium, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's going to be Lars Newtbar. Got the back going too soon at strike two. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Yenzi Almonte getting ready to go. Grotterol getting cranked up as well. And now it's even up. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. 2 2 now. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Up next for the Cardinals, the first baseman. And here's Paul Goldschmidt, one for two. And now the lefty swings through that one. Nobody out, runner at first. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, go find a hole. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Wilson Contreras has put together a pretty special career. Multiple times he's been an all-star and a guy that came up in the cup system as an infielder. The one-two. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. 
and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Now a check swing at the 1-1. Look down to first. No swing. Gary Simmons with the call. The pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Two outs, and that's ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Shelby Miller. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a Your bullpen can please. give their guys a chance to now, fight back into the game. Number 18. Two on, two Miller. outs, Miller. and a count one and two. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Pitch That's misses bolted. there. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And that one off the outside edge. Nolan Gorman to bat next. and misses it's a strikeout so the cards strand a couple but they're on top by a count of three to nothing back here at the ballpark now it's the shortstop Miguel Rojas the wind and the pitch and that's in the dirt Swings and misses. Two and two now. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Edmund in position. Hauls it in for the out. Up next for the Dodgers, the right fielder, Mookie. Here's Mookie now. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy. Hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. And a 1 1. That one fouled off. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. 2 2 now. Stays alive. The next pitch misses three and two now. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Hit on the ground to the right side. Fair ball. Around first, heading for two. Bets into second. Well, he really had to battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. I love that swing, and I'm sure his hitting coach does even more. Took a pitch right on the low outside corner of the zone and just ripped it for a base hit. And that's easier said than done. Chris, how about Freddie Freeman and the career that he has delivered? He's turned into one of the better all-around hitters and a really good defender at first base. And now Freddie Freeman. Yeah, really impressive that he changed uniforms and did not miss a beat. It was an emotional departure for him to leave Atlanta, but he embraced the Dodger blue rather quickly. Hammer, base hit. Flying around third is Betts. He'll score, and now just a two-run deficit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Yeah, the batter now, Will Smith. Next offering is fouled back.
Freeman leads off first with one away. Got him swinging. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. One, two. Good oh, eye in that spot. Action in the pen down there. Giovanni Gallegos up and loosening in the pen. Palante getting loose as well. Two-two down. Good job to fight that one off. And a pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. Goldie Got takes it. it to the bag, and that will end the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. And welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Nolan Gorman. There's a swing and a drive. Outman ranging back, looking up, and he brings it into the warning track. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. One and two now. To the right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Two up, two down. Here's the left fielder, Brendan Donovan. And a foul ball. The one, two. That one the other way. Brings it in for the third out. And down in order go the Cardinals. And the score stays three to one. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Chris Stratton. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. J.D. Martinez stands in. Ball Next two. pitch misses, and that's ball two. two. Ball. One strike. And here it comes. That's a ball. That one misses. Right, so a leadoff walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Miguel Vargas digs in now. Gonna count one and two. One ball, two strikes. Martinez gets his lead at first with nobody out. Swing and a ball popped up, and it's a foul ball. Got it. And that's the first out. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Jack Swing went around, and it's two and two. A 
on the ground to first. And it stays fair. Martinez headed for third. Now that And it's just Cabrera taking them out. He's been so good against lefties. Runners at the corners here, one away. Now here is David Peralta. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. One ball. Swing and a miss as he was out front. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. The next offering misses. It's two and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. First and third, one down. Three two now. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Down the line, it's a base hit. One runs in. Runner around third. He'll score, and the Dodger is even it up. It's three all. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Runner leads away at second. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this whole crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. And a swing and a miss. One ball. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Next pitch is outside. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Peralta, the lead runner out at second. Betts on at first with two down. Ground ball up the middle. Coley, jump throw across his body, out number three. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. We're tied now with three apiece. Major League Baseball is on the show. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Yenzi Almonte. And he's had his struggles so far this year as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. Next offering is in for a strike. You know, these cards, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've been lining the ball all over the ballpark, and unfortunately, sometimes it's right into a glove. But still, they've hit nine line drives so far. And that's something they should feel very good about. And here's a 3-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And the right-hander deals. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Ball. Next one misses, and a count two and one. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Rustar Grotterol up and throwing. two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here next pitch downstairs full count now the go-ahead run aboard at first nobody out if you're a base runner you've got to stay dialed in here look for anything in the dirt try your best to Muncie over to second on to Freddie double play 
I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. And he deals. That's in there. Two balls, two strikes. And misses inside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. Three and two now. Right through there. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Jordan Hicks on a pitch out of the pen here. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Next offering misses. The count now two and two. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Two two on the way. On the ground to third. And they get the out on Smith. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. And now it's Max Muncy. This guy with light tower power. Right-handed reliever. Nope, that's down. The 2-2. Two -two. Battling here as he fouls it away. And it's filled up. J.D. Martinez waiting to bat for the Dodgers. Got it by him for the K. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Next offering is downstairs. Nice. And there's a strike. Next offering way off the plate. Miguel Vargas up next. And a pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Still tied, three and three. here in St. Louis, ready for the bottom of the eighth. And here's the catcher, Wilson Contreras. The one-two. Bounce to the right. Takes it himself. Lead-off man is out here in the eighth. Nolan Arenado, next up for the Cardinals. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him.
that misses the zone and it's two and one well, you get to this part of the order yeah there's some pop there but more likely there's some base hits so very important to be patient let the pitcher rock you if he will next pitch inside and it count is three and one Tommy Edmond waiting for a turn at the plate Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Back to the mound. Beats the second out there to first, not in time. Great effort there. Well, that was going to be a really tough one to turn two on, so a nice job to get the out at second right there. Hold on to the baseball. Shortstop clearly paid the price, but that kind of comes with the territory. And up next for St. Louis, Nolan Gorman. The 1-1, one -one. the kick and the pitch. Runner goes, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So one left for the Cardinals, so no change in the score. It's 3-3. Ryan Helsley taking over on the mound. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Miguel Vargas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The pitch. And another ball. And a pitch. Hard ground ball for a base stop. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Go ahead, run on base. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The 1 1. Trying to move him over here. Goldie. Over to DeYoung. And he'll eat it and be happy with the out. Now the left fielder, David Peralta. Peralta. The pitch. Ball three. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run, stands at first. And there he goes. Lifted in the air, out to left. Donovan calls it in, two away. Now and up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Rojas. Known for his late inning heroics. Helsley keeping him close. Next pitch misses outside, and it's two and one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. That one fouled off, two and two. Kickoff move to first. Oh, Outman great. back in standing. Two gone. The possible go ahead run at first. Next oh, offering great. upstairs. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings.
Riding to the plate. And a swing and a miss. That's out number three. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, two up in inning number nine. All tied up at three apiece. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Phil Bickford. Well, he's a big-time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. Now up for St. Louis, Paul DeYoung. In the air, right side. Betts on the move. Makes a nice running catch. One away. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Brendan Donovan. One for three. Swing and a miss. One and two. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Evan Phillips, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Grotterol, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. And now it's one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Well, that high four-seam fastball has become such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed, and just with good spin rate, good rotation through the zone, elevate it a little bit, get a lot of swings and misses, and that's a really nice job right there. At the belt and fires. Way high. Lars Nukbar waits on deck. All tied up here the last half of inning number nine. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. So they make short work of them there. Nine isn't enough to decide a winner. So we are off to extra innings. All tied up at three apiece. Back here at Bush Stadium. We're at extras here. And now the right fielder, Mookie Betts. Next pitch misses, and now three and one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Steven Matz preparing to come on if needed. Here comes a pitch. On the corner for a strike. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020 with a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning, and that forced teams to rethink their strategy in extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error, and boot to your dismay, not much sacrifice bunt team. Teams you... Swings and misses, struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's the moneymaker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, it's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. So a change being made out at second. On the pinch run, Phil Franco. Now here is Freddie Freeman. Tapped softly on the ground. Over to Goldie. And Freeman is retired. So there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Tosses the first, third out, and that ends the frame. One left for L.A. Score remains tied at three. So coming into the game now on defense, Chris Taylor. He's in at shortstop. Back here in St. Louis, and now the center fielder, Lars Newtbach. Righty delivers. And pitch in for a strike. And the count is even, two and two. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Evan Phillips getting loose out there. Grotterol getting cranked up as well.
The next offering misses. Full count now. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Cole rounds third, headed for the plate. Throw, not in time, and they walk it off. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact, and the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. Our final score, a one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.